Okie dokie, I'm in my bathing suit. <laughs> and I've got some shorts that I'm gonna wear, some wet shorts, and I'm gonna put on a wet shirt because it's chilly today. Here we go. <laughs> All right, this should be interesting. Uh, hey, oh, Ginger. oh. hey, Jen. Uh, hey, Abby. Ginger snack. Come on, let's do this. Come yes, on, it'll be fun. New excuse. We've got the cleaner here. Oh, Ooh. the Roomba. Yeah. Yeah. Thing. <laughs> we named her Ruby. So oh, I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> Ruby is working. Cool. That's right. All right, here we are. We are here at Abby's house. And mom briefed me on where the light switches and everything were. We're gonna, we're gonna do this. So if you are just getting here, you're probably wondering what are you doing, or if you didn't watch the whole video. Abby's gotten to a point where she's really lost her balance, and on a table in a mobile grooming van, it's really hard to groom her without a concern with safety. So as a groomer for myself, my decision is to, like my little get up, can you see this? My decision has been to change the way I groom her and with the pet parents agreement and she, stepped, she said, Didi, thank you so much. She goes, I don't think any other groomer would have done that. I think, and I said, yeah, you know, I think other groomers do say, I can't do your dog anymore. We don't, and we rarely, and I know some of you might do this. There's definitely people that would do it. We just don't see them on YouTube, right? <clears throat> There's, if you've done something like this, like how far out of the way did you go for your client? This is out of the way, coming um, into their home to do the dog and doing it for the convenience of the dog and the dog's health. It's really, really kind. It's so kind. I feel so good doing it. I am in my bathing suit and like, like, I'm just in swimming gear, okay? I'll show you the whole get up here in a minute. I have no shoes on, I have my sandals, but I think I might not even wear my sandals. I might just get up in there. Uh, I'll put, position the camera like on one side of the area so you can see the brushing and everything's still happening. I hope I don't get hair all over me <laughs> in, within my clothing. Hair gets lodged in the clothing and then you have to throw it away. I really hope I don't have to throw this away. Um, but I needed something that I could keep uh, wet, dry, wet, dry feel throughout grooming the dog because I'm literally going to be in there with her um, and both dogs. So here we go. I wanted to record it because the pet parent agreed, you know, a lot of people probably wouldn't make this call in their business because it is a little bit backbreaking and it is a little bit different than what you normally would do if you're a mobile groomer. A lot of you do make house calls. I don't know how many of you guys have actually gotten to the tub with the, with the dog to do the bath. Because you fit in the tub. I remember grooming a Rottweiler for so long and I would have to get down on my knees, bend over, and it, it was so backbreaking. And then their drain didn't drain. I used to do that. And I could just say that's why I stopped because it's so backbreaking. It hurts your back so bad. So as you get older, you may not be able to do certain things. We'll see how today goes. And as long as we're on the floor, and able to shower on the floor and I'm grateful that, that their bathroom will allow this. Otherwise, I honestly would recommend some of you guys with a, a dog, a big dog especially, to be able to get your dog bathed, get a tub that's a stand-up shower that you can walk into. It's easy and it's a lot of the upgrading that's happening in houses today is just that, getting that kind of shower tub installed where you can just walk right in with your dog. I recommend it. If you need some referrals for that kind of work here in Texas, let me know. I have the best people behind me. And all right, let's get started. All right, here's my get up. With my sandals, yeah. We're gonna totally get in the bath. <laughs> to bait, not, not the bath. We are not getting in the bath, but we're gonna shower the dog together. <laughs> all right, so. Because I'm mobile today uh, and running in and out of her house, I brought my Bravura. This is just to do the pads nice and fast and easy. So let's set that down to like a 40. Brought my two Zoom grooms. Brought my Furminators, which are still in the bag. Uh, may or may not need that. Brought this simple groom loop so I can go get each pet at a time. I brought my Pet Silk Shampoo and toenail clippers. All right, we got Abby in here. 
I'm going to shut this door so we can have some private time. All right, we'll take off this. Take off your collar here. Have you been in here before? Have you been in here before a shower? Hmm? Hi. Well, how we get to get really personal now, don't we? Hmm. Dummy, my dummy tum tum is hungry. Look at all this. Oh, no, I don't want to Can you see her legs are really spread spread out wide? That's because she's just real uneasy. Body's changing over time. So if you take this dog and you go straight to the bath, I think I'm missing something. You know what I mean? You're missing a bunch of hair that's not going to come off. It's own for in time, it'll just blow out in their living room and stuff. Farminator, just kind of do some final touching here. I'm actually going to kind of gather up all this hair.
So I went out and got Ginger. Come on, Ginger. She got in the tub already. Go ahead, get in there. I don't know how she knows this stuff, but she knows exactly what I need her to do. I, I was thinking I wouldn't record her. <laughs> I was thinking she, man, I don't know why. How does she know exactly what we need to do? Hmm? How do you know exactly what we need to do, huh? Stay there, let me sh shut this. I have an idea. Did you just open the door? Did you just open the door? Come on, come on, let's get in there. Come on, let's go, let's go. We've never done this before. Okay, 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 stay, stay there. Okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. Let me get this extra towel here. Okay, stay there, you guys can walk through the glass and try that good view. You stand up a minute. Okay, watch out. Thank you. Right, let's scoop all this hair up. Quite a bit of hair. Thank you. 
Chris beat her a little bit when she went out, so here. That was like 12 minute video, so I know it took about that long to bathe her and stuff. Whew. Definitely back breaking. These flowers are so pretty right here. Let's see, let's talk right here. Whew. All right, be back. Hey, hey, thanks for watching DD Core with my favorite groomer. I really appreciate you being here. It means a lot to me. So this is an interesting situation. I've been mobile grooming a wine runner named Abby and her sister, a different litter but uh, I think uh, Ginger, yeah, different litter because they're two different ages. So Abby and Ginger, and they're both Weimariners, and they are just, just amazing dogs. Abby's more reluctant to get groomed, but Ginger loves it. She's cooperative and happy. Um, over, since I've been grooming these pets since uh, June 2018, it is now October 2019, Abby has shown signs of just declination, <clears throat> declining in health, <clears throat> to where when I get her on the table in the grooming, mobile grooming unit, so already we're jumping up into a, the van and then we're jumping, not jumping, but getting up, you know, onto a grooming table and then being, it's a hydraulic one, so it's foot pumped, which I don't recommend. <laughs> I don't like those. You foot pump, so you got this dunk, 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 of air going up to raise the dog to a better level to do nails and stuff like that. Well, the trembling and the her balance has really been affected because of her age. So, the last probably six grooms, I really noticed this was an issue to where I started just brushing her down on the ground. Then I would get her on the table, which I have to, to get her up into the tub. So getting her on the table, bringing her up, doing a quick nail trim and into the tub. And the nail trim this last time was really scary. I was like, I think she may fall off the table and we don't want that. She's really like clumsy, but also because of her age and her health, you just see a dog get old on us. And so you want to be able to change a few things. So the thing I'm going to change is I um, purchased and got it to their care. I said I could install it if they wanted to, but we talked about a couple options. One, I talked about bathing the dog um, what were some options, you know? Bathing the dog with parent assist in my trailer. But that still requires us to get her on the table and all this. And then I asked, or we can try to bathe her. Me, it's going to be more backbreaking for me, but it's only once a month that I have to do this for you. And do this now in her age. And the other, the option was to bathe their pet in their own bathtub or bathroom environment where you know bath shower so I said there's a few things I'm gonna need to do I need a longer shower nozzle you know this and that because I looked she, she let me look and inspect and I said Are you okay with this and she's absolutely if it's the health of my dog heck yeah she says and I'll pay for whatever you need to get Dee Dee I was like well that's really awesome I have a, a a shower nozzle around I can give you for a lower rate than buying new and then I do have to order an extended hose so that it's really long in the shower. The ones that come with most shower kits with the shower nozzle and the shower detachment are too short to kind of go down to the ground and rinse like paws all the way up to the body. They're just too short to kind of do this thing. So if you're wanting an extension, I have the best one or I have found the best one I mean and I'll put it on my website for you. So today it's going to be funny. I'm going to get uh, clips of me group, uh, bathing the pets in their own home environment but I'm going to wear my bathing suit and shorts because I'll be in their house and I have to get wet myself if I get into their kind of shower. So I've never done this before. When you love what you do and you love the dogs and you see them decline, you've got to change a few things. And sometimes that change means the makeup of the appointment is completely different than it used to be. But I hope this helps keep Abby around longer and that she can be with her family a lot longer here on Earth. All right, thank you so much for watching.